guys and welcome back to life updates with t thank you so much for tuning in and thank you so much for joining me if you are new to this channel welcome 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 we are the winning family and if you'd like to become a member or a subscriber to this channel please do make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you're notified whenever we get to post new videos guys i have an announcement or rather a disclaimer to all the south africans that are currently watching this because i am mad okay i'm crazy South Africans, dear fellow South Africans, we have a responsibility next year to do the right thing and vote for the right people. That's all I can say right now because the way I had struggled, the way I had suffered, you know, wanting to get hold of the live show, it was literally crazy. I had to access my DSTV app and it was so crazy because there was not enough network. I literally struggled to know who the housemates are because the next thing, the network is not um, connecting. Next thing, I'm seeing the housemate is already in. But nonetheless, guys, um, we got this, okay? We got this and we're going to definitely get through this. Well, some of the housemates are already in the house right now as I am talking. 12 housemates are are in the house and it's really amazing because i i can see that they you know in the mood excited to be in the show to be selected and everything and i'm also excited on their behalf because guys this is a once in a lifetime experience like i always say so right now i want to introduce you I want to introduce some of these housemates to you guys because I know that some of you couldn't be able to watch the live show because of the same reason that I had. But right now, electricity is back. So I am going to definitely do a part one and part two of these kind of videos. So please do stay tuned and don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Also, share to some of your friends that don't that currently do not have access to watching the live show. Now, let's just get straight to it. The first housemate to enter the Big Brother Titans house was none other than Kosi. Guys, Kosi is gorgeous, okay? She's literally gorgeous, bubbly, out there. I mean, one thing I've realized with most of these housemates, once once they get to they get into the house, you know, they give us that vibe to say that we got this, we're gonna bring the drama and everything. But well, we will see as time goes by. And the second housemate that entered the house is yemi guys yemi has all the girls hearts okay I, i'm not sure about in the house but i have definitely show in I, I have definitely saw in the streets of social media that people are definitely going crazy about yemi let's see what he has for us and then the third housemate to enter the big brother's house was the rugby player juicy j well <laughs> Juicy J seemed to be a cool, calm person. I mean, if you're South African, you know how rugby players are. They're just, um, you know, down and, you know, not out there and everything. But wait, let's see what Juicy J has for us. And then the next housemate to enter the Big Brother's house was the gorgeous Olivia. So Olivia is a Nigerian girl also who just entered the house. Guys, this is going to be insane because all the girls, okay, so far, I feel like the girls that entered that house are just gorgeous. Okay, they're just looking good and I'm looking forward to all the drama that's going to happen with the triangles and the relationships. I'm waiting for all of that. And guys, have you seen, okay, the next housemate to enter was Nelisa. Nelisa is so gorgeous guys nelisa is so gorgeous and i just somehow feel like she's um how can i put this but she's a soft person like this is what i'm sensing from her even though she said that yena she's the drama queen but still we will see as time goes by and then the following housemaid that entered their house was black boy black boy is also handsome um he's um everything that a woman would look for except for the hair for me i i prefer guys that do not ha have hair at all who or maybe that do not grow hair but i like him i like him and then the next housemate that entered was 
Meli. Okay, yeah, it was Meli. So, <laughs> funny comment that I saw on social media. Somebody said, where did they order these South African guys? Because we don't even see them in real life. Like, literally, guys, Meli is gorgeous. Like, he's my type of guy. Dark, tall, and handsome. I like him. And then the other housemate to enter the house was Nana. Nana, the gorgeous queen. I like her as well. She seemed to be down to earth and you know all of that but guys you know what for now I'm, i don't really want to conclude you know in saying that people are down to earth humble and all of that because i have always made that kind of mistake and i ended up being disappointed but for now nana has my heart and then the next housemate is the gorgeous ipileng just by seeing her i i sense drama i don't know about you guys but from ipileng I sense drama. I sense a lot of drama, but we'll see as time goes by. But in general, I feel like I also like her personality and everything. And then the other housemaid who made sure to leave a mark at his entrance was definitely Marvin. He had, okay, actually Lawrence had requested him to open his jacket and do that thing that he does with his six pack. And guys people went crazy on the socials that's what i've seen so far if you saw what marvin did please do let me know in the comment section what you think about that and the cutest the cutest of them all the one and only tabang guys tabang reminds me of zeno i don't know why but he really literally reminds me of zeno like the moment he came in i was like mm, and then he said that he's 21 i was like that's it that is zeno but yeah he's cute he's handsome he's yellow as well he's good looking and I, I think a lot of girls okay let me just hold it here because i feel like he's still young but the amazing thing is that he is single unlike zeno who was in a relationship and then the last housemate that I am going to introduce to you guys on this part one is um, JP. JP also, okay, JP seemed to be a cool person, but she seems to be that kind of person who's like, she's the kind of person that has that, um, what's this? The character that says, don't fuck with me, okay? Don't play with me. Don't do that with me. So that's what I'm sensing from her. But yeah, guys, like I always say, let's see how it unfolds. For now, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I will definitely see you guys on my next video, which it will be the part two of the introductions. I cannot wait to see you guys. Please do let me know what you think and all of your thoughts in the comment section below. I will see you guys in just an hour. Thank you. Bye.